Hello, my name is Ardi. So the question is using the superposition theorem, find P0. Okay, we are asked to use superposition theorem. So we need to split this into some other circuit. So we will need to split to other circuits. Okay, how to do that? We turn off all other sources but one. Turn off. All sources, but one. Okay, we have two sources here, a 5 ampere current source and a 12 volt voltage source. So, we need to turn off this current source here and we then turn off this 12 volt voltage source. Okay, so the rule is when you have current source, We replace it with open circuit. And then when we will when we have voltage source, we replace it with short circuit. Okay, let's do our first split circuit here. We turn off this current source. So we will have a simpler circuit here. Uh, let's have this two ohm resistor. And then we will have this three ohm resistor. And then a current source, we replace it with open source here. Open circuit here. And then we will have this five ohm resistor. So we have five ohm. And then we will have this one here, 12 volt. Good. And because this is our first circuit, we are looking for P0 here. So we will have P0 here. And because it is a different circuit, we name this P0 prime. Good. And that is the one with current source turned off. And now let's turn off this 12 volt voltage source and we redraw another circuit. So we will have this 2 ohm resistor here and then we also have that 3 ohm resistor and then we will have this current source here which is 5 ampere. Okay. And then we also have that 5 volt, I mean 5 ohm resistor, 5 ohm resistor, and then, okay, a 12 volt voltage source replaced by short circuit. Okay, good, we will have plus and minus, here is a different P0, so we name this P0 double prime. And we need to do the second step here. We will have to analyze each circuit. So here we need to find out P0 prime. And here we need to find the P0 double prime. Okay, let's do that. Okay, we have two circuit here. And let's do analysis on the left one here. We have P0 prime. How to find out P0 prime, we can use voltage divider. We will have 2 ohm resistor here as the numerator. And then as the denominator, we will have 2 plus 3 and then plus 5. Okay. Multiplied by the voltage, which is 12. Good. 2 multiplied by 12 is 24. And this one will be 5 plus 5. That will be 10. So we will have P0 prime is equal to 2.4 volt. Okay, and this is one of the important values. So let's save it. And then for this one, it is a bit trickier. So let's set this here as our ground. And let's make this as our node A and assuming the direction of the current this going up and this is going to the left and right like this we can do KCL at node A right KCL 
at node A. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Right? Okay, the only current that goes in is this one. We will have 5 here. And then that will equal to this one here, VA minus 0 divided by 5. That will be VA over 5. Okay, and for this one here, we also have VA but divided by 3 plus 2. Okay, good. So we'll have 5 is equal to VA over 5 plus VA over and multiply both sides by 5 by the way so we'll have 25 is equal to 3 pa and so we will have pa is equal to 25 over 2 but we are not looking for pa but p0 double prime so we'll need to find out p0 double prime which is can be Calculated using voltage divider. So we'll have 2 divided by 2 plus 3. And then multiplied by PA, right? So we'll have PA. And we will have 2 over 5 multiplied by 25 over 2. Okay, this 2 and 2 will cancel each other. And 5 and 25 will end, cancel into 5. So we'll have P0 double prime is equal to 5 volt good okay so now we have our p0 prime and then our p0 double prime let's get back into the problem here remember we have p0 double prime is equal to 2.4 volt and we also have P0 double prime here is 5 volt. Okay. 5 volt. So we can add them up, which is the last step of the superposition here. Add them up. Okay. We are asked to find P0 here. What is P0? P0 is just the sum of P0 prime plus P0 double prime. So we will have P0 is equal to 2.4 plus 5. And finally, finally, we will have P0 is equal to 7.4. And the unit here will be in here. Okay, let's put this into a box and highlight it. So we know that this is the conclusion of this problem. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in my calculation. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.